Hello students, welcome to the YouTube channel Eternal EC Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 5, Python Variables and Operators. Content of the session is input and output statement and comments. So what is comments in Python? In Python, comments begin with the hash symbol. The lines that begins with hash are considered as comments and ignored by the Python interpreter. This is the concept of Python. That means while writing a program, if the line starts with the symbol hash, that line is ignored by the interpreter. That means the interpreter will not convert that line into object code and for the execution it is not used. Why then we are writing these lines in a program? You may have a question. Because comments are very important while writing real-time program for a project. Because in a project, many people are involved, like 400 to 500 people are involved. Then they will split the work and each one will write a program separately. After that, it is, it is a, it, it, everything is going to be combined so it should be explained with the documentation or else it cannot be used effectively to do the project so writing comments while creating a program is mandatory in real-time work there may be single or multi-line comments that means I can hide one line from an interpreter or I can hide multi lines from an interpreter. Single line is hide from the interpreter just with the hash symbol at the beginning. Multi line comments should be enclosed within triple double quotes. We will see this in the example. What about input and output functions? A program needs to interact with the user to accomplish the desired task. This can be achieved using input-output functions. So to have an interactive runtime program with the user, input and output functions are used. Without that, the program will not be effective or else it won't be dynamic. It will be very static. If you run the program many times, the same output is going to be Return, but it is not a usage of program. So, to have a runtime interaction with the user, we need input and output functions. Input function helps to enter data at runtime by the user. The output function print is used to display the result of the program on the screen after execution. So, print function it can be written with a uh, string to be displayed as output within double quotes or uh, print the variable which is going to give the value print string to be displayed as output comma variable these will see in the example input function is used to accept data as input at runtime input accepts all data as string string or characters but not as numbers if a numerical value is entered, the input values values should be explicitly converted into numeric data type. That means whenever we enter the data in the runtime, it is treated as string. But really we want to do many work with the numeric data. So it should be converted into numeric value using a separate function as int variable equal to input within the bracket we can give the prompt string which should be displayed on the screen so let's see the example so you know this is the ideally of python this is the interactive mode so we are taking a new file in the file we type the comment so to type the comment, we have to we'll type a word as welcome to Python programming. 
in the beginning you are the symbol hash so now it is comment comment means the interpreter will not consider this line print within the print we are giving a string value welcome to python now save the file so give the name as sample 3 because 2 already exist with the extension name .py save the file now run the program using run module welcome to python the line is printed on the output screen so first usage of print function we can print another line also consider a line is welcome to eternal ac education now again save the file run the module two lines are executed now if we use the hash symbol before this line then this line is commented that means the this line is not considered by the interpreter so no output from that line only the second line is printed so do you understand what is comment so this is the use of comment if you want to use multi line comment use three double quotes can you see all the line colors have changed so below this print i am giving again three uh, double quotes so from welcome to python programming next line print welcome to python both the uh, lines are comment so only one line is going to print you understand how to make multi line comment we have to add three double quotes now run the module only one line is the output because we have used multi line comment to hide the two lines now take a variable as a equal to 10 b equal to 20 c equal to a plus b now use the print statement to print the variable c so run the module so you will get 30 because 10 plus 20 output is 30 actually if you run this program a how many times any number of times the output will be only 30 because the values are given as static so we will change the program to get the value of a from the user at run time then we will get different uh, output at run time depends upon the user's value so you change the line as a equal to input enter the value of a b equal to input enter the value of b so now the values value is asked from the user enter the value of a now run time we can give any value but have you noticed here it is 20 45 it is not added actually we have told to add a plus b because the value is treated as string as you as we know that input will get the value only as string so to make it as numeric value we have to convert explicitly to the type of integer so we have to 
keep this print sta uh, input statement inside the function int. Now you run the program again. So enter a value. A value is uh, take it as 20. Again, B value is taken as 15, 45. Then you uh, you realize that it is 65 because 20 plus 45. Now it is changed into numeric value. Previously it was treated as string. Now it is treated as integer. So you learned print function, input function, and the explicit conversion of input function. So if a line begins with hash, it is said to be sing single comment line. If it is followed with the triple double quotes, then it is in multi line comment. We can get an integer uh, string value from using the input statement. So you are taking a variable as name equal to input, enter your name. So if we print, we are giving a, a format like, um, we can say hello. So first, first we'll write a hello, the given name. So hello, the particular name has to come. So hello within double quotes followed by the name variable, uh, followed by another string. You are welcome. So if the name is uh, Raj, hello Raj, you are welcome. Understand how to use string on the variable as per the requirement. Now run the program. So enter a value, give any number, enter b value, I'm given as 20, so 30. Enter your name. You can give a name. So, hello, Lex, you are welcome. So, is it clear, children, how to use input function and print function in Python? What is the use of comment line, single comment line, and multi line comment line? Is it clear, children? I hope you all have understood this. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, subscribe this channel to watch the upcoming videos. Thank you. Have a good day.